Hey guys, today we are going to read the book Nature's Perfect Package, Egg. The authors are Steve Jenkins and Robert, sorry, Robin Page. Butterflies, frogs, sharks, and human humans all begin life as an egg. So does almost every other animal. The eggs of some creatures, including most mammals, are nurtured inside their mother's body, where they develop into babies that are born alive. But many more animals lay their eggs, either one at a time, by the dozens, or by the millions. Eggs come in a fantastic range of sizes, shapes, and colors. Animals that lay eggs bury them, carry them, guard them, or simply leave them alone. And each egg contains everything needed to create a new living creature. Slugs, sea urchins, and most other simple animals lay eggs. All insects, spiders, amphibians, and birds are egg layers. A few fish and reptiles give birth to live babies, but most lay eggs. And two mammals, the echidna and platypus, also lay eggs. Except for the crow egg, which is shown life-size, these eggs are greatly enlarged. Silhouettes at the bottom of the page show the actual size of the eggs. So the only egg here that is the actual size is a crow egg. The other one, this little banana slug, that's the actual size of its egg. Ooh, look at this tarantula. That's the real size of a tarantula egg. Some eggs are too small to see without a microscope. Others, including some laid by animals that are extinct, are enormous. The eggs on the next four pages shown are actual size. Oh my goodness. So here's a great big egg. It's from an elephant bird. Then there's a big old ostrich egg that goes all the way down to a little tiny stink bug egg. Gigantoraptor, the fossilized egg of a dinosaur that lived about 80 million years ago. That's this big egg right here. Sometimes big animals lay big eggs, but not always. The egg of the kiwi, a bird smaller than a chicken, is thousands of times larger than the egg of a giant squid. The elephant bird, kiwi, chicken, gigantoraptor, and giant squid are pictured at the same scale as an adult human. Some animals take great pains to lay their eggs in a safe place. Others aren't so careful. Not all animals are choosy when it's time to lay their eggs. The horned starfish, what's this one right here, simply releases its eggs, up to two million of them, into the water. With her sticky saliva, the Asian palm swift glues two or three eggs along with a few of her feathers to a dangling palm frond. The white tern lives on islands where there are no egg-eating animals, so she saves herself the trouble of building a nest and simply balances her egg on a bare tree branch. A mosquito deposits her eggs directly on the surface of the water where they'll float until they hatch. It's right here. The black-spotted sticky frog lays her eggs in a carnivorous pitcher plant. This plant is filled with liquid that kills and digests most insects and small animals that tumble in. But the eggs and tadpoles on the sticky frog are immune to its effects. So that's where this is the pitcher plant and the frog lays its eggs in there. The Julia butterfly perches her egg on the curling tendril of a plant where it is less likely to be eaten by other insects. That one kind of looks like a little pumpkin. When it's time for the common green lace swing to lay her eggs, she produces dozens of long, thin stalks and attaches them to a leaf. Then she places an egg at the end of each stalk, putting it out of reach of hungry ants. So, that's 
where it lays its eggs. The spider wasp stings the spider, paralyzing but not killing it. The wasp lays a single egg on the spider's abdomen, then seals its victim into a burrow. The unlucky spider will be food for the wasp larva when it emerges. A mother splash terra, that's this fish right here, leaps from the water and attaches her eggs to an overhanging leaf. The father remains nearby and frequently splashes the eggs to keep them moist. As soon as they hatch, the baby fish drop into the water. The common mirror lays its eggs on a rocky seaside ledge. A round egg might tumble off, but the conical shape of the mirror egg causes it to roll in a circle. We learned about those eggs a few days ago. The female acorn weevil drills into an acorn with her long snout and places her eggs inside. When they hatch, the larva will have a nutritious food source. A cowbird sneaks her eggs into a bluebird's nest. When it hatches, the bluebird will raise the cowbird chick as one of their own. Ocean tides are highest twice a month during a full moon or new moon. It is then that thousands of grunion wiggle onto the beach and bury their eggs in the sand. In about two weeks, another extreme tide signals the eggs to hatch and washes the baby fish out to sea. Animals that lay just a few eggs have a lot invested in each one, so they usually take good care of them. Other creatures employ a different strategy. They produce vast quantities of eggs, then pay little attention to them. Most will not survive, but there is a good chance that at least a few will hatch. The royal albatross lays one egg every two years. The mother and father will take turns sitting on their egg for the next 70 to 80 days. When she spawns, a female blue crab may release as many as 8 million eggs into the water. A driver ant colony stays on the move, devouring any animal that doesn't get out of its way. But the colony stops for a few days every month, allowing the queen to lay 3 or 4 million eggs. Then it moves on. The fish tapeworm is a parasite that lives in the intestines of fish and animals that eat fish, including humans. A tapeworm can produce a million eggs a day for 20 years, more than 7 billion eggs in its lifetime. A female noble's pygmy frog lays two eggs at a time. She will guard them and keep them moist until they hatch. A green sea turtle often swims thousands of miles to lay her eggs, returning to the same beach where she was born. She buries 100 to 200 eggs in the sand, then returns to the sea. An egg contains all the nutrition needed by the animal growing inside. It is a concentrated source of food and an important part of many predatory animals' diets. Some of these animals have creative ways of getting to the food inside an egg. An ostrich is a prize for any an ostrich egg is a prize for any egg eater. It is its tough shell is not easy to crack. The Egyptian vulture uses a tool a rock it picks up in its beak to break open the egg. So this vulture has a rock in its beak and it's going to use that to break open this ostrich egg. The predatory spectral bat preys on birds and mammals, including other bats. It also eats eggs and will quickly devour these tiny hummingbird eggs. The campingo, an African catfish, lays two kinds of eggs. One kind will hatch, producing a new generation of fish. Others are unfertilized and will not hatch. The mother lays them to serve as food for the baby catfish. Eggs are one of the favorite foods of the mongoose. When an egg is too tough to bite into, the mongoose has been known to hurl it backwards between its legs and smash it on a rock. The egg-eating snake can swallow an egg much larger than its head. Look at that big old egg. The snake pierces the egg with sharp bones at the back of its throat, squeezes out the contents, and spits out the shell. 
With its long bill, the toucan reaches into the nests of other birds and steals their eggs. Many animals ignore their eggs as soon as they are laid, but some creatures have clever ways of keeping their eggs safe. They stand guard, camouflage their eggs, or rely on poison or trickery to give their future offspring the best chance of survival. A female emu lays her eggs, about a dozen of them, and her male partner steps in to care for them. He sits on them to keep them warm and he tur and turns them several times a day. He will not eat or drink for the eight weeks it takes for the eggs to hatch. A mother cuttlefish places each of her eggs in its own capsule, then injects the capsule with black ink that will keep the eggs hidden. The aquatic apple snail lives in ponds and streams but lays its eggs above the water. Their bright pink color warns predators that these eggs are poisonous. To an ant, the cap on the end of the Goliath walking stick insect egg smells like a tasty plant seed. The egg is dropped on the ground where ants will find it and carry it to their nest. They eat the cap, but the egg is unharmed. When it hatches, the walking stick leaves the nest without being attacked. The female hibiscus harlequin bug defends her eggs. If danger threatens, she releases a stinky, bad-tasting liquid. A female five-line skink watches over her eggs for several months. After the baby lizards emerge from their shells, the mother eats any of the eggs that did not hatch. The markings on the eggs of the African lily trotter imitate the pattern of shadows cast by grass and reads where the bird builds its nest. All eggs are protected by some sort of shell or membrane. Many animals go further fabricating cases, additional shells, or other structures that keep their eggs from scattering, drifting away, or being eaten by predators. The American toad lays its eggs in ponds and streams. The eggs are contained in strips of jelly, which snag on water plants and keep the eggs from getting washed away. The egg case of the horned shark looks like a giant screw. The mother shark wedges her egg into a crevice in the rocks to keep it safe. The moon snail embeds thousands of eggs in a circular sand collar. The collar, which is stiff but flexible, rests on the seafloor and prevents the eggs from drifting away. The eggs of the volatid snail are encased in clear lemon-sized capsules that are dispersed by ocean currents. Then they sometimes wash ashore in great numbers. The paper nautilus is actually a kind of octopus. The female builds a delicate shell-like egg case, then moves in with the eggs until they hatch. The silken egg snack sack of the brown widow spider can contain more than 200 eggs. It is suspended from a thread or entangled in the spider's web. Some animals keep their eggs safe by taking them along wherever they go. The nursery rub spider wraps her eggs in a silk sack, which she carries in her jaws. When the eggs are almost ready to hatch, she weaves a silk tent and places the egg sack inside. A female weedy sea dragon attaches her eggs directly to the tail of her mate. He will carry them for about nine weeks until they hatch. The eggs of the female midwife toad are encased in long strings of jelly. The male toad wraps these strings around his legs and transports the eggs until they hatch about a month later. Workers in a fire ant colony constantly move the eggs laid by their queen. They take the eggs deeper into the nest at night to keep them warm or bring them closer to the surface during the day to cool them off. The female marsupial frog has a pouch on her back that harbors her eggs until they hatch. Her male partner helps her put her eggs into the pouch as soon as she lays them. The black-eyed squid clutches her jelly-like egg sac with sharp hooks in her tentacles. The sac contains as many as 3,000 eggs, and she will hold on to it for months, going without food until the eggs hatch. 
The male jawfish is a mouth brooder. It protects its mate's eggs by holding them in its mouth. It won't be able to eat for the five to seven days it takes the eggs to hatch. Many animals play an active role in the development of their eggs by incubating them, which means to keep them at the right temperature until they hatch. A mother platypus keeps her one or two eggs warm by clenching, clutching them between her body and her tail. The malia doesn't sit on her nest. Instead, she buries her eggs in beach sand heated by the sun or in the warm ashes near an active volcano. These are the fossilized eggs of the Protoceratops, a dinosaur the size of a black bear that lived about 75 million years ago. The fossils, which show the eggs carefully arranged in a nest, tell us that these dinosaurs probably guarded and incubated their eggs. Snakes are cold-blooded, but by coiling around her eggs and shivering, a mother python can warm them up. A mother emperor penguin lays an egg, then helps the father roll it onto his feet. He keeps it warm in his brood pouch, a flap of feathered skin. The father will incubate the egg for two months, going without food the entire time. A female alligator buries her eggs in a large amount of leaves and sticks, where heat produced by the decomposing plants incubates the eggs. The sex of a baby alligator is determined by temperature. Warmer parts of the nest produce males, cooler ones females. Eggs work beautifully to protect and nurture an unborn animal. Sooner or later, however, every animal has to get out of its egg. Eggs can be tough and strong, so this isn't always easy. It's also important that eggs hatch at the right time. A baby that emerges from its egg long after its brothers and sisters have hatched may find itself alone, without protection, easy prey for predators. Many creatures have evolved techniques for getting out of an egg or figuring out the best time to hatch. Red-eyed tree frogs usually take six or eight days to hatch. But if they are at least four days old, the eggs will hatch immediately. If they are disturbed by a snake or other predator, and the tadpoles will drop into the water. While still inside their eggs, baby alligators cheat to let their mother know they are ready to hatch, and she digs the eggs out of the nest. If the babies can't get out on their own, she will gently roll the eggs in her mouth, helping to crack them open. The corn snake, this is the snake right here, has a special tooth on its snout, which helps the snake cut its way out of its egg. The tooth will drop off a few days after the egg hatches. The eggs of the brine shrimp can remain dormant, not hatching for as long as 50 years. Then, when the temperature and salt content of the water is just right, the eggs can hatch within hours. When it's ready to hatch, a gray partridge chick makes a clicking sound in its shell. This tells its brothers and sisters that it's time to emerge. The eggs may have been laid days apart, but the chicks will all hatch within a few hours of each other. The kiwi egg has a tough shell. The chick uses its egg to crack the eggshell, then kicks its way out with its big feet. In many ways, the animal egg is the perfect package, one that provides nutrition, shelter, and protection. We've seen how eggs vary in size and shape and how they are laid, protected, incubated, and sometimes eaten. But what goes on inside an egg? Let's turn the page to find out. Oh, look, so inside a chicken egg, Let's see, let me, sorry. Okay, so inside a chicken egg, so this is what it looks like five days, then 10 days, you see the baby starting to develop. And then at 21 days it hatches. Here's the inside of an alligator egg, five days, 20 days. It hatches after 65 days. Let 
here's all the different animals that we talked about in this book.